Okay. Up next is Ann Richardson with autographed handkerchiefs. This is our first ever Top 20 Double Take. When one of our presenters couldn't be here this evening at the last minute, we decided to ask one of our most popular presenters ever to do it again. Ann Richardson is caretaker of a collection of more than 6,000 autographed handkerchiefs. The collection was started by her grandmother in 1935 and given to Ann 50 years later. She continues to add to the collection, which includes everyone from Babe Ruth and Judy Garland to Jackie Robinson and Blake Shelton. Included are all the men who walked on the moon, presidents, and athletes. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. In 1932, my grandmother, Corda Hogan, joined a hobby club and began collecting handkerchiefs. Some friends wrote their names on the hankies that they gave to her for her collection, and she thought, why not send them to famous people for their autographs? She gave her collection of 3,000 hankies to me in 1986. <laughs> Helen Keller was born with sight and hearing, but lost both of them to a, an illness at the age of 19 months. Her signature is very plain and is in pencil as my grandmother requested. I now ask for hankies to be signed and dated near a corner with a Sharpie marker. Here is Robert Ripley of Ripley's Believe It or Not and one of his oddities, Robert Wadlow, the tallest man in the world. He was 8 feet 11 inches tall, weighed 491 pounds and wore a size 37 shoe. He died at age 22 when his ankle brace caused a blister and got infected. Orville and Wilbur Wright were the first men of flight. Unfortunately, Wilbur passed away in 1912, but my grandmother was able to get Orville to sign a hanky. My grandmother would ask the people to either sign the hanky she sent or sign one of their own hankies and send it to her. Not many people have hankies anymore. In 1936, my grandmother went to hear Amelia Earhart talk about her upcoming flight around the world. After her speech, Amelia asked if there were any questions from the audience, and my grandmother raised her hand. She asked Amelia if she would sign her hanky. Amelia called her up to the front and signed it. Her plane disappeared the following year. <coughs> These are the original Mercury 7 astronauts. Scott Carpenter, Deke Slayton, Wally Schirra, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, <laughs> Alan Shepard, and Gus Grissom, and Gus Grissom put the Mercury 7 symbol on the corner of his hanky. Jackie Robinson played for the Brooklyn Dodgers for 10 seasons. He was the first African American to be enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1949, the Brooklyn Dodgers were in the World Series, so my grandmother sent a hanky and asked the whole team to sign it. Along with Jackie are Pee Wee Reese, Ray Campanella, Gil Hodges, Duke Snyder, and Jack Banta, who lived in Hutchinson. Well, the Yankees beat the Dodgers that year, and she sent to the Yankees for autographs, but all she got back was a letter signed by the manager, Casey Stingle. <laughs> Babe Ruth signed it in a fountain pen, and it splotched. <laughs> He was a left-handed pitcher, but he wanted to play in every game, so he asked to go to the outfield. And he played an amazing 22 seasons. Other athletes in the collection are Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Shaquille O'Neal, Nolan Ryan, Willie Mays, Dizzy Dean, Roger Staubach, Joe Montana, Bo Jackson, Hank Aaron, and George Brett. The 1994 Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Yasser Arafat, Shimon Peres, and Yitzhak Rabin for their efforts to bring peace to the Middle East. I sent hankies to all three and received two back, Shimon Peres and Yitzhak Rabin. Rabin was assassinated a few months later. Other world leaders I have are Hosni Mubarak of Egypt, Corazon Aquino of the Philippines, Prince Albert of Monaco, Emperor Akihito of Japan, Indira Gandhi, Kurt Waldheim of Austria, Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, and Lech Walesa. 
The Wizard of Oz came out in 1939. Here is Judy Garland's autograph and Toto's paw print. In 1989, liberal Kansas celebrated the 50th anniversary of the movie by inviting munchkins. Jerry Marin now is the only living munchkin at the age of 97. Gone with the Wind also came out in 1939. Here are the signatures of Olivia de Havilland, uh, Vivian Lee, and Clark Gable. Vi Olivia de Havilland turned 100 years old last July, and the background handkerchief is an original from the movie with a book sticker still in the corner. Well, this is uh, Philo Farnsworth, the father of modern television. Uh, uh, excuse me. This is James Watson, who helped discover DNA. Lise Meitner, nuclear fission. Jonas Salk, the polio vaccine. And Jack Kilby was the inventor of the calculator. He was from Great Bend. Some survivors from tragedies are Gabrielle Giffords, the Arizona congresswoman shot in the head. Elizabeth Smart, who was kidnapped from her bedroom. And Captain John Phillips, who was, Rich, Rick Phillips, who was uh, uh, kidnapped by Somali pirates. Uh, we've all heard of the movie Sully, and this is Chesley Sullenberger, the airline pilot who landed the passenger jet safely on the Hudson after he ran into some geese. All 155 people aboard survived, and there were no personal injuries. At two months of age, Milovina Dean was the youngest passenger on the Titanic. She was the last living survivor in 2009. Her family left England to join other family members in Wichita to open a tobacco shop. Milovina, her brother and mother, survived the tragedy, but her father did not. We all remember the Pulitzer Prize winning photo of nine-year-old Kim Fuchs screaming in agony after a napalm bomb was dropped in Vietnam 44 years ago. She suffered third degree burns. She is now going to Miami to get laser to help for her pain and scar tissue. And here are three women who we've recently said goodbye to. Debbie Reynolds and her daughter Carrie Fisher. And just this week we said goodbye to Mary Tyler Moore. And these are just a few in my collection of over 6,000 autographed handkerchiefs. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.